Just so. Vietnam. 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 Just so Vietnam. Hi everybody, hello and welcome to Just So Vietnam, a Vietnam travel guide and a guide to the way of life here. In the next 10 minutes we're going to explore modern day Vietnam through the eyes of expats who call it home. Here's the headlines for today's show. Magical net to prevent mosquitoes? Let's go with Sam to find out more in Just Ask. Later on in Just Try, Trekking in Pham Nha, Khe Bang in Quang Binh is an experience you should try to challenge yourself and enjoy the magnificent sceneries. And last, our useful travel tips when exploring Quang Binh. You are curious about Vietnam? Let's ask and Mr. Questioning Sam Patterson will give you the answers about life and travel here in Vietnam. Hello, Sam. Are you okay? I think I was bitten by a mosquito last night. I can hardly sleep. Oh, because there's summer now and there's a lot of mosquitoes. But don't worry, I'll give you the magical seal. Here it is. What's this? How do you use it? the night of the Anti-Mosquito Alliance. I see. You are having some problems with the magical shield. Am I right? Yes! You fool! You don't need to wear it as some sort of clothing. You should hang it up around your bed. That is the best way to use the shield. Okay, I'll do it. So, here you can see the mosquito net, or the magical shield, known as MAN in Vietnamese. It can be used to keep out mosquitoes and other bugs, meaning that you can have a peaceful night away from the evil horde of the mosquitoes. Trekking is very popular today in the world. In Vietnam, people often go trekking in the hilly areas with many rivers, streams and forests. As they are often not served by roads, they can also be the most difficult and remote places to get to. And the only real way to see them is on foot. One of these places is Pham Nha, Khe Bang, in Quang Binh province. Today, my friend Tao Nien and her friends will show you their trekking trip to Vam Cave in Pham Nha, Khe Bang of Quang Binh province. Trekking is a form of walking undertaken with the specific purpose of exploring and enjoying the scenery. If you are the person who loves adventure and experiences, you cannot ignore trekking. And in this episode of Just Try, let's follow me to join a trekking trip. Let's go! Phom Nha Ke Bang National Park in Quang Binh possesses many caves beautiful hills and spectacular forests. During this trek, my friends and I had to walk 15 kilometers to the jungle and climb mountains to reach Vom Cave and then hike through 500 meters up the dry park and finally swim in the wet cave. Trekkers must be careful and well equipped because there are many insects in the forest and sharp rocks which can cause injuries. Có đoạn qua đá tay mèo rất là khó nhưng mà cảm giác rất là hấp dẫn. 
có đoạn thì đi qua cái đoạn rừng bằng phẳng thì có nhiều cái cung bậc cảm xúc. Um, in the beginning it was very hard because you have to think where you place your feet and um, our country is entirely flat. So here we have to climb hills and uh, rocks. So that was something we had to get used to, but now it's pretty fun. Occasionally, during a trek, you may suddenly find some kinds of forest fruits that can be tasted or special leaves that can be cooked. Whoa, nature in Pham Nha, Kẹ Bang is really miraculous. It's so amazing, I really want to try. I wish I could enjoy the trip. After walking seven kilometers through the jungle, we go trekking to the Dry Vong Cave. Vong Cave was considered the biggest cave system in Asia, being 31.4 kilometers long, 124 meters high, and 150 meters deep. Cảm giác là cái thiên nhiên nó mang tặng quá 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 nhiều quá thời tốt đẹp như vậy. Cảm giác nó sợ một chút nhưng mà vẫn vẫn muốn là phải vào tới tận trong hang để có một cái cảm giác thật thú vị và khi la hang là mọi thứ nó như là mình chỉ là hòa cát của giọt nước ở trong một cái hang đó thôi. They were very beautiful and I haven't seen anything like it before. After going through the dry cave, we rested to enjoy the local food prepared by people in Quảng Bình. Along with stalactites and stalagmites, the caves feature an underground river, cave grabs, geckos, sharp stones, and muddy sand. We had to be very careful when we went through the muddy sand because it was so slippery. My friend Hyo is a soldier, so he had experience in trekking and could help us pass through this slippery and muddy sand. Whoa. Trekking is really different from other forms of tourism, such as uh, motorbikes or bikes, because the sceneries have to be discovered going on foot. Tao, how are you and your friends doing? After exploring Rye Cave and Happy Lunch, I will have a chance to enjoy <laughs> and swim in this cool water. It's great, not cold anymore. How do you so feel? How I'm you feeling great. Yeah, it's relaxing and thrilling at the same time. <laughs> After swimming through the wet cave, my friends and I conquered the remaining four kilometers of mountain and jungle roads to end the trekking journey. This trekking trip was really an adventure we had a chance to have a getaway from civilization, challenge ourselves by struggling through heavy rain in the forest, climbing sharp rocks, and swimming in water to deep for us to touch the bottom. This trip will give us unforgettable experiences. Now, I wanted to share these simple but effective Vietnamese travel tips with you in this segment of Just Go. Besides Phong Nha Ke Bang National Park, Quang Binh is also famous for its white sandy beaches, sand dunes, hot streams and many more. Just like many other provinces in Vietnam, your plan to Quang Binh is also affected by extreme weather. So it's best to visit the province from March to September, as the weather is nice. Visitors can access the province by road, rail, air and sea. Remember to bring along sunscreen, hats and sunglasses, as Quam Bing is called the land of sun and wind. In Quang Bing, you can try many delicious local dishes, such as Beng Lop, Beng Nam, Beng Xiao, crab soup and all kinds of fresh seafood. So make sure to have the most fun during your trip to Quang Bing. And with that, we already come to the end of this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, please leave your comments on the VTV World fan page or subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Martijn and this is Just So Vietnam.